Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Pagey here, once again with another video on Arrow Season 6. So at this point in time, even though we are only two episodes into this season of Arrow, there is quite a lot going down for our friendly friends over in Star City. Diggle is now the holder of the Green Arrow Mantle. Oliver is dealing with the return of Anatoly Kanaizev to Star City with less than positive intentions, as well as having the FBI on his ass. But that's not the worst that they have had to deal with though, am I right? But anyway, over the past few days, we had some stuff drop for the fifth episode of Arrow Season 6, which is the first part of the highly anticipated two-part Deathstroke storyline, which is fittingly entitled Deathstroke Returns. Now, before we jump into all of that, I will play a trailer, an epic trailer, might I add, that was released recently that shows quite a decent amount of footage from this episode, as we will come back to parts of it while we go through the other stuff. So here is that trailer right now. I was running around the city during the day and managing it as mayor while running around at night frightening criminals as a vigilante that really would make me a superhero. But I'm not. I'm just the mayor. Thank you very much. Every time that I'm out there as the Green Arrow, I'm a target of the threats that are out there and the threats that are undoubtedly coming. Any reservations? Concerns about what comes next? Of course not. Want to tell me what happened? No. I don't know how to reach you. Trouble fitting in the this age. What? What are you talking about? I had Tommy. I wouldn't call having a friend who helps you get into trouble fitting in. This is for real. For real. Isn't it? Me being around more? And not the other guy? You know something maybe a mayor should not know? The time of vigilantes is coming to an end. Sniper! People take the law into their own hands. We've got anarchy. Run! Bad news is that you won't be able to scream anymore, but the good news is you'll be too dead to care. You showed me a long time ago there were no true heroes or villains, only winners and losers. And I know which I want to be. An eye for an eye. I appreciate the meeting. I know that trust doesn't come easy. But you're the only person who can help. I am sorry, kid. Slay! going to be an incredibly insightful evening. So yeah, that trailer did showcase a decent amount of Deathstroke-related footage, but we will also be going through the synopsis or description for this episode. So be sure to let me know in the comments section down below what you're thinking of all of this. Are you excited for the Deathstroke story and all the other stuff revolved around it? And of course, if you do go on to enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Slade returns and asks Oliver for help in tracking down his son. When they learn Joe has been taken hostage by mercenaries, their mission to save him gets complicated by a terrible revelation that could shatter Slade's hopes of reunion forever. Meanwhile, Vigilante reappears in Star City. But yeah, let's jump straight into the synopsis and the first part of it is... Slade returns and asks Oliver for help in tracking down his son. So back in the first episode of this season, or the season 6 premiere, we had essentially the setup for this two episode Deathstroke story when Slade came and visited Oliver in Thea's hospital room. And this is where Slade was asked about the hunt for his son and he responded with how it was going. Now at this moment in time, we don't know if both of these Deathstroke episodes will be centered around the hunt for Slade's son, or if that will only be the base or the basis for the first episode. And then the second episode, that being episode six, will be another story with Slade possibly helping out Oliver with something back in Star City. Because at this point in time, Diggle is most likely still doing the whole Green Arrow thing for Oliver, but by the end of this story arc, Oliver will probably take back that Green Arrow mantle heading into the big crisis on uh, Earth X storyline. Uh, in episode 8. The next part of the synopsis is, when they learn Joe has been taken hostage by mercenaries. 
So Joe is obviously Slade's son and he will be played in present day by Liam Hall who is an Australian actor and is actually a good friend of Kenan Lonsdale who plays Wally West or Kid Flash on The Flash in real life. So he will be the one copying all the abuse from these mercenaries. Funnily enough, these mercenaries could have been old uh, teammates of Slade Wilson for the ASIS, which is like the Australian security agency. And then they've, you know, tracked down his son, you know, they're using him to possibly get back, back at Slade. All these could be randoms from other country that Slade has wronged in the past. And then they've tracked through Slade's history and found out that he has a son and stuff like that. And they've targeted him. So who knows? Now, young Joe Wilson in the Deathstroke-centric flashbacks will be played by another Australian actor known as William Franklin Miller. Now, William actually has a YouTube channel where he did uh, vlog some of his time in Vancouver filming the episodes. I will leave it linked in the description below if you do want to go check it out. You do see him getting ready to shoot some scenes for Arrow. You don't see, like, too much Arrow stuff because, you know, he can't release that that early. But he does, like, you know, hint at it and stuff like that. And you do see him, you know, rehearsing his lines and stuff like that. So if you want to go check it out, feel free to. It's linked in the description. But speaking of the Deathstroke flashbacks, they will take place after Slade leaves Lian Yu at the end of the Arrow Season 2 flashback. So after Oliver stabs him in the eye and he loses his eye. So they will presumably be around Slade getting back to life in Australia, which involves work at the ASIS, as well as family life. So we do see a bunch of shots in that trailer with Slade back at the ASIS, some of which include him covered in blood. And we also do see uh, Shadow at one point. So it seems they will be when Slade loses it, and I guess you could say officially becomes Deathstroke. Back to Joe Wilson for a second, they did release a character description for him, which gives you a little bit more light on the character. The son of Slade Wilson, who has followed his father's footsteps by joining the Australian military agency, the ASIS. Unfortunately, he is trapped in a remote prison fighting for his life while going under the alias of Kane Wolfman. Now that alias, Kane Wolfman, is most likely a nod to the creator of Deathstroke, who is Marv Wolfman, as well as a nod to Joe's mother's maiden name, which is Kane. So, Kane Wolfman. Next up in the synopsis, we have... Their mission to save him gets complicated by a terrible revelation that could shatter Slade's hopes of reunion forever. Now, this part of the synopsis really piqued my interest, as it does seem that they will be going with a point that was introduced in one of the Arrow novels that was released. In that, Slade is responsible for the death of his wife, Adeline Wilson, obviously Joe's mother. From memory, Slade didn't kill her, but she was caught in the crossfire when agents of the ASIS came to arrest Slade for what he'd done. So that's my guess as to what this terrible revelation is. Joe most likely had no idea that Slade had a role in his mother's death until now. And when that, you know, comes to fruition, Joe's like, uh, yeah, you're a bit of an asshole, aren't you? And to finish off the synopsis, we have... Meanwhile, Vigilante reappears in Star City. Now, one of the bigger questions everyone had in Arrow Season 5, and which also carried over, I guess, to the break leading up to Season 6, was, who is Vigilante? Well, as the synopsis says, he is back, and you would have to think we will see a mini-story with him over these two Deathstroke, uh, Deathstroke episodes. So we will have present-day Deathstroke story with Deathstroke flashbacks, and then Vigilante in Star City. So if you aren't excited for this... What is wrong with you? Also, Felicity will most likely not be in these episodes due to her being on The Flash in episode 5. And I did say in my Flash video yesterday that these two Deathstroke episodes you would think would be set within a couple of days of each other. So that would mean Felicity might not be in episode 6 either. But, you know, she most likely won't be in episode 5 by the looks of it. At one point in that trailer, you do see Vigilante go to remove his mask because his, like, visor is all smashed up. You can see the back of his head, so it looks like they are finally going to reveal who Vigilante is. And that could be a story arc itself that we follow throughout the season, like why this person is Vigilante and stuff like that. As Vigilante is meant to be someone that we are all familiar with. It's not meant to be like a main character, but it's someone that the majority of the audience, at least, is somewhat familiar with. But everyone, let me know in the comments section down below, who do you think Vigilante is? I know I've made a couple of videos on this. This is really the final time, really. Uh, maybe the trailer breakdown for this episode, but at this point, this would be most likely the last time I actually ask you guys, who do you think Vigilante is? Going by the back of his head here, it isn't Captain Pike, it isn't a female, so I'm excited for this reveal. Uh, yeah, very excited because obviously we've been waiting for it for a while. Like usually, you know, when you're introduced to a character and you're waiting on, like, on a reveal as to who the character is, you find out in that season, but with Vigilante... If we find out about him in episode 6, that would be almost a full season since we were first introduced to the character and then we finally get the reveal. So bring on these episodes, bring on episode 5 and 6, and bring on this vigilante identity reveal. But thanks for watching guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on the video to show your support for the video and the channel as a whole. Let me know in the comments section down below all your thoughts and opinions on the Deathstroke stuff. Who do you think Vigilante is? Are you excited for this two-part story arc? These could be like the two like most amazing episodes of Arrow just in regards to like an event. 
if you know what I mean. Not in regards to like a massive story, but just an event and like two Deathstroke episodes, Deathstroke flashbacks. It's going to be awesome. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.